you don't feel like you're using your arms, but they <laughs> folded. But look how much you got turned. That, I mean, that's incredible. I can see your right scap now. So that's like 110 degrees of turn. And it felt easy. I mean, it felt like I didn't even take the club back. That's buying you all day. Okay, so just do that a lot. Take a look. So things look really good there. Yep. Not now, there. what happens is your chest stops turning right. it, and your arms just lift. So if we look at this face on, we're gonna see your chest only turn maybe, maybe 50 degrees probably. And then you do a really good job recovering and getting it to come shallow enough from the inside, but the odds are pretty good that you hit a pull yep. from there. Oh yeah. Completion oh, yeah. of your backswing. I mean, so your your chest is only, maybe. yeah, maybe 60 degrees rotated. And so it's just not giving you enough time. Mm -hmm. And so your depth is really lack of chest turn. So I think that's really all we need to focus on right this minute is just getting your chest to turn farther yep. and buying you some time. I mean, that's what I feel too is, I, I mean, I feel it too. Like, especially when it get, I get on the course under pressure, it's, you know, it's, it's even worse. It's to here and then I'm, having to wait so long and if I don't time it up it's not there. So I want to do a drill real fast. Yeah. I shouldn't say real fast because we're going to do it real slow. Real slow. <laughs> Can I borrow your club? Please. What I want you to just jump right over there and watch me for a second. What I want you to feel is we've got a little motion in your feet. We go left, right, wind, 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 wind. I don't want your arms to even start moving. So I've got 90 degrees already, right? Yep. And then we're just going to chip it from there without using your arms. Okay? I like it. Because your arms load way too soon. And just little square feet. Now, trigger and only wind. So just chest all the way and then chest unwind. Really feel like your hands just stay right in front of your, your chest and you wind it. Wind your chest to the end range. There we go. I want to see you do that because you're flexible. It's just something I, mean, I, I, could, I could do. That's the thing that always blows my mind. It's like, I know I have the flexibility. Something in your brain is just not yeah. letting you do it. So let's over, overcome it. No arms, wind the buttons on your shirt back far. Okay, good. So check that out. You don't feel like you're using your arms, but they <laughs> folded. But look how much you got turned. That, I mean, that's incredible. I can see your right scap now. So that's like 110 degrees of turn. And it felt easy. I mean, it felt like I didn't even take the club back. That's buying you all day. Okay, so just do that a lot. It's, it's easy. Well, kind of. <laughs> In theory. When you want to hit it, it's like your brain wants to hit it before it's ready to right, hit it. Exactly, like I'm like trying to hit it when I'm here. You're, try, you're starting to go the other way right there. You need to wind longer. Do that again. Hands are going to travel straighter. Now start over. So you're going to feel like your hands are just staying here. Now just keep turning, 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 turning. There you go. Oh yeah, wow, that's a different position. Beautiful. So now you got 90 degrees of turn when your arms are, when your left arm's parallel to the ground, you're basically 90 degrees turned with your chest. Perfect. Just like that. See how immediately the ball wants to start a little farther right? Absolutely. No, I was just, that's what I was uh, shaking my head about is just how different and right that feels. Like I, it feels wrong, but I know that's the feel I'm looking for is, getting here and I, I, I even felt it shallow just automatically without mm -hmm. any arm load. Beautiful. There you go. Just... Just let that right arm stay long and then hit it. Good. I think this is what I, one thing I really need is a drill that it bring me back to getting that turn, uh -huh. but having a drill I can come back to to really feel that rotation. You just have to have way more patience in the winding phase. It's like you want to get start unwinding before you're ready. Money. See how good that was? Oh yeah. No, I loved it. It's just starting out to the right and I don't feel like I'm having to drop it in and throw it out there like no. I when I'm... Well, when you, when you turn 45 or 50 degrees and your hands are like out here, you've got to feel like they go that right. way. I, I have to manipulate it so hard yep. to get it. Now I want you to feel a little less of the turn coming out of your hips. Just more from chest. Chest, good. Feel how that pulls your hips? Yeah. 
You're going to feel like your, your torso loading is going to pull your hips versus your hips just spinning open. There you go. Bring a little bit more of that torque. Uh-huh. Okay, so let's see if we've made any headway here. So now we're, that's a lot of turn, right? Oh, a lot of turn. Much better. And now you've got depth. Even on a what feels right. like a partial swing, your handle's over your, your right ankle. No, I mean, so that's going to be, you can, it's. Letting the arms have a little bit more of an active roll. So they're going to load longer. Just wind, keep winding. Now load, 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 load. Now just let your arms float right there and get out of the way. Okay? Oh yeah. So be really patient. We're gonna go slow, but you're gonna be really big wind and really patient in the, the unwind phase. So there, feel how smooth and patient yep. that was? Yep. Okay, now go ahead and hit one just like that. No more, no more energy than that. Okay, that was, you changed directions too soon. Too soon? Mm -hmm. Okay, better. Still yeah. a little too soon? Yeah, it was good though. You didn't hit it very solid, but you, you wound long enough and un, unwound smooth. Did it hit your start line? Pretty close. Okay, a little high on the face maybe? Yeah, a little high on the face. You hit that one solid. Yeah, that was dead center. So let's take a look real fast, see how we look. So that's much better, but still, we could, we could wind a little bit more. It's like you got to about here, and then mm -hmm. your chest is, is still stopping, and the last little bit is just arms running. Though that's... So I was getting there when we were doing this practicing, just straight arms the whole way. Mm-hmm. So I want you to, you just need to turn a little bit more, a little bit longer, before you start to let your arms fold. And then I want you to let it soften on the follow-through. See how you're kind of hanging on? Mm-hmm. Just let it swing around you. You're good. Yeah, I am hanging on. I don't know why. <laughs> That's pretty good. Keep feeling that. Give me one rehearsal where you swing it through. There you go. Feel fluid and all the way around you went. Yep. I want you to let it go like that. One. Better? Better, but not, I, I still, it, there is that just urge to start, come, you know, just right here. Just, I want to start going. That was better. I felt like I got the, the uh, turn on that one. You did. That's pretty good, check yeah. it out. No, that feel, that's feeling like I'm getting the turn there. Oh yeah, it's way better. Yeah, oh yeah, wow. So now you change directions here. That oh is. My God. See how much better that is? And I actually even see myself falling down to the left, yeah, you can, which I never see. You can fall down and left in transition right there. That is light years different than our first swing. Light That's years. Crazy. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Click the link below to access my free five keys on building a rotational golf swing. And learn how to swing like an athlete. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. We'd love to welcome you aboard. And be sure to comment below and leave feedback so we know how we can better serve you. Thanks again, we appreciate all of you.